The action here at the Margaret River Pro continues. Kyle versus Jordy. Looks like a belly. Already wants to start swinging. Set up car. Beautiful open face. He'll go for the climb before that clear water. He'll recover from that last move. Resets for this inside track just to kick out. And I think we're going to have a lot of cool change-ups this year with the new format. Let's go back to the start of Kiowa Belly. Yeah, let's have a look at this first turn here from Kaya. Nice little top turn. Straight up to the lip. Almost lost it right there, which sort of threw him off balance. And uh, just try to milk this one through the inside, but deciding to kick out. Corey Smith has a solid one to answer back. Layback hack to start. The South African carving through the open face. And frames it up vertically and stays on his feet. Advantage Jordy on the opening exchange. Bit of mistake there, but Jordy Smith, as you said, uh, was going to get the advantage in this first exchange. A little bit of a cleaner move. Nice wrapping turn. I mean, Jordy's got a beautiful wrap. And then watch this maneuver right here. Just so strong up and through that white water. No problems whatsoever for Jordy Smith. He loves that layback snap. Throws a lot of spray, just puts him in a really good position. It, it almost wipes off a bit of speed, Joe, which then you can sort of maintain that right near the pocket surfing. You don't want to get too far ahead of the section. You want to always be coming from down and around it, behind that section to, to, to finish with those big turns. A well-read wave right there for Jordy Smith. 7.17 for Jordy. The belly on his second wave. Wrapping cut back to start. He's stepping on the gas. Now he's got a big walled section layback, blow tail, and is able to recover around the slab. What a great read for your belly. Nice smooth re-entry on that carving turn and then exploded on the finish. Yeah, this is what he needs. Uh, a little bit of a conf confidence builder for Kayo. Just getting the ball rolling right now. Nothing too special, but this maneuver right here. He sees that section coming ahead and literally blows the tail out. Incredible control there from Kayo. Kind of was expecting a, that resistance with that oncoming section. A well-positioned maneuver. Jordy Smith enjoying these conditions at main break. Layback carve to start. Snaps it off the top. Gets down to the bottom with some power. He shuts that one down. Jordy Smith in his interview knew he was going to have his hands full with Kiowa Belly. Yeah, and he's uh, he's come off a, a couple of good heats as well, so he's got his confidence up. Jordy, though, again, that big searing maneuver. A little bit hung up there, but turns it into something positive. Beautiful vertical snap to finish off right in front of that dry reef. You know, that's the... These good guys, they can make a mistake, but almost make it feel like it was meant to be. He got sort of hung up on that second turn, and what did it do? It actually put him in a better position going into that last maneuver. It framed that last section up absolutely perfect for him. Beautiful opening turn, extending that back leg, and then this maneuver here where he comes off the bottom, straight up through the foam, a little bit hung up right there. But then what it did was it just the timing for the last maneuver was absolutely perfect. Beautiful vertical snap there from Jordy. Three solid turns and another good score to be locked in. He was uh, more than devastated when he thought he was going to miss out on the tour this year. But great to see him get the call up and make use of this injury. A place for wild card. The belly in motion. Missing that end section, so he's still searching for something to give him a 7-9-4 for the lead. And now all this positivity is just coming to Kiowa Belly. And the way he's performing at main break today, you can just see that he is back and better than ever. Up now, a belly off the bottom. Big throw tail out the back. Tried to recover in the layback, but he goes down. This was the place that gave him the injury last year. And it's now coming together. Smith looking to put some pressure on a big air section. Tail high reverse. Foley rotates around forward, and Smith is still <laughs> fighting for the completion. What an effort. I feel older Jordy gets, the more consistency he finds with results. As the last handful of years, he's been really solid in the top five. Watching Kaiwa Belly kind of blitz that lip line, resets that bottom turn, hack in the pocket, comes down with the lip to find himself a finishing move. 
Looking to ditch that 3-1-7 to get a little bit closer to Jordy Smith. Verging on, excellent. Let's have a look again. First turn, really important. Connects nicely. Bit of a speed check. Fades back down. Beautiful low, deep bottom turn. And another nice maneuver. And then finishes strong. Creating a little bit of drama. So Kayo was first turn. Sort of more of a speed check. Connects nicely. And then, what's this bottom turn? Leans that board right over. And that was the money shot right there. Straight into the next turn. So this is this is going to be a great score for Kayo Belly. I, I'm, I'm calling the best wave of the heat so far, Joe. Now, yes, it's going to replace that 3.17. And that 5.5 is going to be his backup. Because I think this is a way better wave than his 5.5. Smith chipping in out the back. First turn, throw tail through the white water. Will punch the fins out on the climb, but he'll get rid of that maneuver. We just when you thought the swell was kind of dying, we're getting a little bit of a pulse here this afternoon. Both surfers having a look at this. Rolling in now. Underneath priority, Kiowa Belly. Such a clean rail line. Holds it well and punches out the Whitewater on the rebound. Just feeling his way out on the third turn. Felt like he was just anticipating a big section to come that whole ride. He could have uh, connected a bit with a bit more conviction on a couple of these turns. He might have got it. Nice smooth wrap to start and then the wave starts to stand up. And right here, that thing just really didn't cooperate. Entered that event in Manly and completely dominated so now, all of a sudden, we could be seeing Alessa making a comeback to the top 17. Here comes a clean wrap from Jordy Smith. Another solid cut back into the pocket. Big throw, tail reverse. Have a look at Jordy's again. Straight off the bottom. Nice wrap just to start off with. And again, another nice wrap. Setting this up through the inside. And that's the, the, the wow factor that Jordy Smith has. Kyle needs an answer. Clean wrapping cut back. There's his power hook once again. Perfect transition off the lip. Looking to close this one out. Hammers it shut right before that shallow section. Finish off that wave and then right behind Kyo Belly. A little bit of a cleaner face, a little bit more vertical face. Nice big wrap to start off with. Now he starts to go to that rail, keeping it nice and clean through the inside. Vertical snap through the lip. And again, tags it on the end. Wow. Well, as it stands in my eyes, that 6.01, is he definitely got that, but the question remains, did Jordy Smith better that 6.27 as his backup? Great surfing here from Kayo. Nice, clean, smooth transitions between the moves. We heard Joel talk about it. it's one of the hardest ways on tour to keep that rail nice and clean. And then finishing here. Jams it into the pocket and avoids disaster over that shallow shelf there. Jordy Smith with priority, so Kayo has got to give way. Jordy Smith having a look, Joe. Can he get up in time? It's close. He's going to have to surf it like it counts. Big tail high reverse, but he goes down. That was amazing, Joe. I mean, Jordy had complete control over that hit all the way through up until that last exchange. In the dying minutes, Kyo Belly sneaks a win over Geordie.